This Friday will mark two years since a Butler County man was shot and killed by state police at his home. And this evening, his family has announced they have filed a complaint against state police for that incident that ultimately led to the man's death. Amy Wattis joins us live now with what the family wants to see happen. Amy. Stacy, the Butler County DA cleared troopers in the shooting back in December of 2018. Today, Walter Weeman's family says their main motivation for filing this lawsuit is to prevent something like this from happening to someone else's loved one. A memorial sits in the backyard of this home in Renfrew, Butler County, to remember Vietnam vet Walter Weeman. My family will never get over the horror of what happened that day. We never got to say goodbye. We never got to hug him and tell him that we loved him. The 73 year old was shot and killed by state police at his home on Nursery Road nearly two years ago. A situation his family says could have been prevented due to Weeman's mental health issues. His daughter, Tammy Kaufman, says he suffered from PTSD and Alzheimer's and often believed he was in combat in Vietnam. She says she called 911 the morning of September 18th, 2018, after he became agitated that the beehives he kept no longer had bees in them. She says he couldn't remember. He had cleaned them out before and thought the neighbors had interfered. It is a difficult enough decision to have to make, to have to call police, to have your father involuntary commi involuntarily committed. Instead of peacefully taking women away, Kaufman says state police mounted a full-scale military-style assault and siege, complete with a helicopter and armored vehicle. And they wouldn't let the family intervene to calm him down, despite knowing his mental health status. This gentleman who relived combat experience in Vietnam was put in a situation where he could only assume he was back in combat. State police say they fired at Weeman because he was armed with a rifle. Troopers were cleared of any wrongdoing by the Butler County DA back in December of 2018. The DA finding Weeman pointed that rifle at troopers. From the best we can tell, he had an antique rifle which was not loaded. Instead of helping this family get him involuntarily committed, they shot him three times in the back. You know, or well, actually two in the shoulder and one in the back of the head. I reached out to state police for comment on this lawsuit. They say they can't comment on pending litigation. We're live from the Butler State Police Barracks. Amy Wattis, KDKA News.